So, in their biggest update ever, Tower Defense Simulator released this battle pass full of exclusive items, mainly skins alongside some emotes and extra goodies, and I spent $70 to unlock every single item and see which tiers are peak and which ones just aren't very good. Now I'm gonna go not in order of the actual tiers you unlock, but in order of which ones are the worst to which ones are the best. And at the bottom of the list, 250 coins, the first tier reward. It's literally just some money. You can spend 10 minutes playing and get this many. Next, there's a tier 4 premium crate. If you're newer to the game, this might be nice, but personally, I already have 43 of these. I don't really need an extra. There's a tier 6 spooky dance. The gimmick is a super fast transition speed between the three poses. Uh, it's okay. I'd say the other emotes are better though. Da Vinci Milton at tier 5 is... Eh. Milton is a tower that gets a lot of event skins, and to me they're always some of the most forgettable ones. Tier 3's Da Vinci Sniper is a bit better I feel. It utilizes the same painting-like aesthetic, but has a bit more elaborative design. Still, I'm just not a big fan of the kind of muted color scheme here, and the black outline effect doesn't really fit with the other skins. The tier 8 popcorn emote is okay, I like it. I don't think it's particularly notable, as there's a lot of other prop-based emotes which utilize more interesting accessories. The popcorn itself is just kind of a bent PNG. Then there's the Masquerade Scout. As usual, this one's at the front of the pass, being in tier 2, and it sort of introduces a few cool ideas that the other skins I'll expand much more upon, meaning it's pretty basic comparatively. The tier 7 Masquerade Cowboy is interesting because it has, or rather doesn't have, one of its arms, which kind of just feels like a trade it has so it can gain ghostly replacement on its level 4 upgrade. These ethereal additions show up on many of the Masquerade skins, they're kind of the main theming, along with the stage-like outfits. But the cowboy here uses them in the most basic way, cowboy effect. Tier 9, Frankenstein Electroshocker. Nothing crazy, the calm skin. I'll probably be using this one, however I do have to say, what is this max level model? Why does he take his shirt off? I get he's supposed to look like Frankenstein, but I mean you're upgrading the tower, if anything he should get a new jacket. The binary name tag at tier 13 is solid. I'm not a huge name tag guy, but this feels like one of the more well composed ones. Uh, if you're curious, the description text also apparently translates to S U B S C. I'm lying, sorry that sucked. It just translates to the letter V. Uh, that probably doesn't mean anything. The tier 10 Masquerade Warden's quirk is actually really smart. Rather than attacking directly, it strums a violin, causing a ghostly fist to attack the zombies, also featuring different animations. Very strong overall, and showcasing the potential of the ghostly accessories. Uh, while recording, I also realized they forgot to remove this little cube from the model, so that's a fun little easter egg. My biggest problem with it is just how loud the attack sound is. This is definitely going to get old very quickly. Next, the tier 14 reward, Gravedigger Engineer. This skin does something none of the other engineer cosmetics do, as the creator designed unique models for her engineered sentries. That, alongside a unique shovel model for its hammer, that makes it feel much more fleshed out. I'm probably going to be using this skin a decent amount. There's a tier 15 Z-Step emote, which by itself is very basic, it's just a little zombie walking animation. But the twist is, you can use this in a public server, and other people can interact with you to become zombified, also giving them the animation and allowing them to further infect more players, uh, which is just pretty fun. Then the tier 16 skin, Masquerade DJ. This skin makes the most use out of the red auras, as they replace a traditional sound stage and assemble to create a symphony, where they get more extravagant with each upgrade, until the final level, where they encircle the tower and the conductor starts singing the Rizzler Ohio Shake Skibbity Dance. This one's fun and very well made, however the music... Uh, good times, good times. Tier 12's Masquerade Medic is a skin with personality, because it does a little dance. It also has unique animation for healing your base, incredibly silly and based. Although there's sadly no crossbow animation for her gun. Of course she gains the trademark ghostly props on her final level, except they're kind of broken. I'm sure this will be fixed eventually, but as of now they just kind of sit there. It's a shame because the new animation it gets is even more whimsical. And finally, my favorite item of the past, the tier 11 crossbow turret. A high quality skin for a tower which otherwise uses a literally 4 year old default model. The early levels feature a drawing back animation for each shot and a hidden carrot. And there's a rotating gear base underneath so the model can smoothly turn without jumping from one angle to the other. When upgraded it gains more armor plating and then at max level it becomes a beefed up dual barrel or quad barrel mechanical turret. It's super well made, almost gives me vibes of a balloons tower defense type tower. So yeah, I like it a lot. The only point I have against it is the sound, which I feel like is just not very fitting. So yeah, overall, not everything is great, but the best skins are top tier. 
Would they recommend buying this with real money? Uh, definitely no. There's a lot of time to grind. I only did this for the content. Maybe this can be a tax write-off. I don't know. Uh, subscribe, like, bye.